YouTube. This is the first day of the 2011 legislative session. Okay. Got through pretty fast. Don't have to take your belt off. Charlie Guerin just happened to join me as the lines are moving by. How are you doing, I'm Chairman? Doing great. We got a lot of people here today. It's going to be a lot of fun. What does it feel like to you? You've been on uh, at a lot of first day of sessions before. It's still exciting. If you ever lose the goosebumps when you walk into this building, it's time to quit your job. What do you make all these folks in these Paxton for Speaker T-shirts? I think that, you know it's nice akin to buy them shirts. <laughs> Thanks, Chairman. We appreciate it. And you can tell this line is moving all the way, and it's stretched all the way back down onto the first floor, down the corridor. The line finally starting to move on this first day of this session. The Capitol never so crowded as when there's a tough debate or on the first day when all sorts of family members, friends, and in this case, folks, grassroots conservatives trying to push lawmakers to choose a different House Speaker are here. And it's finally time to head into the Texas House for the opening gavel. Check it out. I, Robert Haney, many of you know, we had a caucus yesterday in the Republican Party, and I lost. And as a result, I will not be putting my name into nomination today. So to paraphrase one of our generation's great philosophers, Mick Jagger, we must remember that we can't always get what we want. But working together under the leadership of Joe Strauss, we will always get what we need. Madam Secretary, it is my great honor and privilege to respectfully place in denomination the name of the Honorable Joe Strauss III for Speaker of the Texas House of Representatives. Thank you. This is a record vote. Members voting for Joe Strauss will vote aye. Have all members voted? I declare the Honorable Joe Strauss of Bear County to be the duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives of the 82nd Legislature of the State of Texas. I can't let this opportunity pass without mentioning that the women of the legislature appreciate that he is also very, very easy on the eyes. <laughs> I know that in recent weeks, members of the House have withstood threats, harassment, att attempts at intimidation because of the fair and respectful way in which you want this House to operate. Division, threats of retribution, attacks on people's religious beliefs, distortions of people's records have no place in this House. So we headed over to the Senate hoping to catch some of the action in the upper chamber, only true to form, they already finished before the House and are packing up. So that's it for the Hue Tube. I'm Elise Hue. Thanks for watching.